I was removing a pulsating invasive parasite from my good friend Denise when all of a sudden I had an idea. I wanted to see if these parasites would eat each other. Only one way to find out. But for this experiment, I need a lot of parasites. I'm going to put three male parasites into a container with one chonky female parasite and leave them in there until they all get really hungry. Since the only source of nutrition are the parasites, they should eat each other. Then they'll know what it feels like to be a poor little shrimpy. Since this was going to be like a quadruple date, I grabbed a wine glass, filled the glass with water, and made sure it was salt water. And it was. I put the female in the water and proceeded to add the males. They all quickly climbed onto the female and began to argue over who was the leader. I set a timer for 24 hours and some pretty weird things were happening like this parasite getting this other parasite in a chokehold. The next day. Alright, so it's day two. We are investigating. It looks like one of the males are dead and the other males are still attached to the female. And a few moments later, we realized that there was only one male because the female killed both of the males and there's only one male left. It was very interesting. It looks like the female parasite used this pink powdery stuff to kill the other males, but I still want the female to get eaten. My friend Tyler said he'd be down to eat her, so like and follow for part three. Suck me down into your little hole there, buddy. Oh, how cool, look at that. Here's another one right here. Boop, boop, boop. Oh my gosh, look at this starfish. This guy's weird looking, it looks like a little dude. It's like a little person. He's all covered in this seaweed. He should be in a more rocky area. Look at him. He's actually hanging onto a little clam here. Let's put him in a more interesting area. Don't worry, buddy. I'll find you a better home. <clears throat> all right, here we go. Here's a bigger tide pool. And I'm going to put him by one of his favorite snacks. Ugh, a little sea anemone. Later, dude. Oh my gosh, you have to see this. This is a starfish. But starfish usually have five legs. This one's only got four. I wonder what happened. And look. He's hugging a squishy sea anemone. I think this is where his uh, leg used to be. These guys can actually regrow lost limbs and, and the limb that he lost could actually grow into a new starfish in and of itself. I'm out here looking for shrimps with parasites and look what I just found in the mud. Come here, little dude. Oh, this is crazy. I'm gonna rinse him off. Check out this little crab. I'm gonna show you something crazy about him. The dude has no legs. I think a hungry sea chicken might have eaten this guy's legs. Eat this poor little guy. Sorry you don't have legs, dude. But don't worry, you're gonna grow some back when you molt. <clears throat> All right, let's get you back into your little crab hole here. Uh, later, buddy. Oh, you've got to see this. This is a stinging nettle jellyfish. And if you look closely, you can see his stinging tentacles on there. Now, if you ever see one of these on the beach, I highly suggest you don't touch it. But I am a jellyfish expert, and I picked these guys up many times, so I'm gonna bring him and this feather back to the ocean. Don't worry, buddy, I'll save you. <clears throat> ah. All right, let's go. <sighs> We're almost there. Hang on, buddy. <sighs> oh, whale pee. <clears throat> oh my gosh, whale pee. <clears throat> All right, come on. I don't know if he's alive, but just in case, we're gonna give him a gentle yeet. <clears throat> Later, dude. Oh my gosh, here's another one. Oh, he's covered in whale pee. Don't worry, buddy, I'll save you. Oh, he's so jiggly. Don't worry, I'll get you back to the water. <clears throat> oh, all right, back to Bikini Bottom for you. Yeet. Later, dude. Oh my gosh, I just saw something crazy. Look at this. Look at this right here. Oh my gosh. This is the whole outer rim of a stinging nettle jellyfish. And what I mean by that is if you put it in a circle here, this is the outside of it. What the heck is this? Uh, I don't know what this is, but it, it's a rock with hair. It looks kind of like a tiki man. <laughs> Wilson! Oh my gosh, real quick. Uh, this is like the sword in the stone. Watch this. Okay, let's see if I can do it. Thor's hammer. <laughs> <laughs> All right, this little shrimpy's name is Tia. And as you can see here, she's infested with a little parasite. Normally these parasites are a lot bigger, but it's a parasite nonetheless. And on top of this little female is a little white male. Let's get both of these guys out of here. We'll just set them here and then give them a proper burial. All right, it's time to set Tia free. Look at the size of this giant whale skull. This thing is massive. It's got to be about eight feet from the back all the way to the front. Oh my gosh, look at this sea anemone. He's eating a crab. This dude's eating a giant red rock crab. Oh my gosh, this crab is being eaten. Oh no, that's crazy. Look at this, a little baby crab. What's up, dude? You want to be my friend? I was just about to go get tacos. You want to go get some tacos with me? No? Okay, well, I'll set you back here. 